I remember a point in my life, this was probably more than a decade ago, when I was in New York City. I was in a subway. And when I say that, I mean the transportation, not the food chain. I was in a subway. And it was really late. It was like, I don't know, it was either around, it was, it was either midnight or like a little bit after. Um, I used to spend a lot of time out really late. Um, and I just remember I was hanging around with people that I considered close, right? I considered them to be friends. Um, and I remember being on the subway, and I remember those people making fun of me, right? You can tell when somebody's making fun of you. You know how it feels. You know that it doesn't feel nice. It doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel comfortable. You feel attacked, right? Um, however, if you actually believe that that's the way that friends are, then you're not going to actually feel those ways about it. You're going to dismiss it. You're going to invalidate it as not so bad when it is actually terribly bad. But anyway, um, there were two other guys close to us on the subway. When I mean close, I mean distance wise, like physical distance, not like, you know, closeness in terms of like intimacy. Um, and so the person, one, one of the people that I was with, said to that person, like, hey, can you tell my friend here that a person is not your friend unless they're making fun of you? And the person said to me, well, I, I'm pretty sure that person, like, laughed first, right? And then they were like, yeah, friends friends make fun of each other, right? Um, and by the way, I'm all for, like, joking around with people but you know when something becomes a personal attack. Um, that became kind of like a highlight of a moment in my life when where I'm at now and even just a couple years ago, I realized that previously in life I didn't know what healthy relationships looked like. That also had to do with you know, a lack of healthy boundaries on my end. Um, but, you know, I, I remember it so vaguely. We were leaving the city. We were getting ready to get out of the subway. Um, and just, like, like sitting there, like, listening to this guy tell me that, yeah, they're not your true friends unless they're making fun of you. Joking around every once in a while with people that you would call friends is one thing, but consistent personal attacks and verbal abuse are two different things, right? Um, a majority of my relationships in the past have consisted of personal attacks, verbal abuse, all of that stuff. Um, and now, um, knowing what I know about, you know, Freudian psychology and defense mechanisms, a lot of people that I hung out with actually, um, they were just projecting their own insecurities onto me. That's really what it was. But the theme of this video is all about, you know, not knowing what healthy relationships are like. Um, and I am still learning the dynamic of healthy relationships or I should say the dynamics because there are multiple dynamics of it but you know it's fascinating because earlier on in life I actually pushed away healthy people because I wasn't attracted to them and this actually has to do with the video that I made yesterday right about going from you know being chronically unhappy and depressed and being repulsive to people that are happy and joyful to then going into the category of being chronically happy and joyful. Um, but there was a point in my life when I didn't know what healthy relationships are like. Um, and all that I really knew was what unhealthy relationships were like, right? They consist of a lack of healthy boundaries. They usually consist of... Uh, using, abusing, they consist of, you know, all of that stuff. 
And because of the way that a person grows up and is raised, if they're attracted to unhealthy objects, objects being people in this case, um, they're going to think of that stuff as normal. For the longest time in my life, I thought that verbal abuse was normal. I really did. Um, I thought that being used was normal, right? I thought that one-sided, one-way relationships were normal. I thought that it was my job as a person to give absolutely everything. Everything. Try, 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 try. Give everything. And then after that, if I feel like that's not working, then I give even more and I try even harder, right? And from everyone else, I would not take anything, right? And when I say that, I don't mean like I don't take any shit from other people. No, I mean like there wasn't a mutual back and forth give and take dynamic between me and other people. It was just what other people could get from me. And I felt like a burden for even asking for anything, right? Um, yeah, for the longest time in life, I did not know what healthy relationships were like, but that was because I'd never really um, experienced them, you know? Um, I thought that it was my job to fucking drain myself of every little last drop that I had for other people, all to feel like a burden for even asking anything of anyone, right? Um, and now, at this point in my life, with all of my conscious awareness and all of the work that I've done, um, you know, I am very much aware that I don't have to be that way, of course, that healthy relationships are very much a back and forth thing, right? Um, but yeah, when you don't know what healthy relationships are like, you tend to think that the relationships you have that you might not know are unhealthy are actually normal, right? And they just consistently reinforce this belief that you have that this is what relationships are. This is what relationships are all about. Um, and I'm not here to judge anybody. There's no shame, there's no guilt, there's no anything. It's just that my eyes are opening wider in terms of what actually is healthy, right? And it's, it's such a fascinating journey. Um, you know, I look back at that moment when I was with those people that I called my friends. <laughs> And <laughs> that subtle laugh, um, just sitting there listening to that guy tell me, yeah, they're not your friends if they're not making fun of you. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I see it. I see it for what it is. I really do. Um, but yeah, I'm just grateful to be here and to have this more conscious understanding of what healthy relationships are, right? Um, a mutual back and forth, give and take, feeling totally safe with somebody. You can tell them anything. Um, they're not going to make fun of you for it. They're not going to call you an idiot for it. They're not going to, you know, um, they're going to listen to you. Um, they're going to uh, meet your needs if they can. They might not always be able to, and it's best if they tell you that they can't. Um, but really just a matter of balance. That's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, my, my life was so different back then when I didn't know what healthy relationships were. I thought that I was in, <laughs> I thought that I was in the best relationships. I thought that I had the best friends. I was fucking wrong. I was. And I'm so glad that life gave me a reality check in many different ways, right? Um... Abuse in any way, shape, or form is unacceptable, um, intolerable. Um, it leads to mental health issues. Yeah, that's just, that's just the way that it works. Um, and let me just end off with this, because I think that this is probably one of the most important things to understand, right? Um... Remember how I was, I, I made a video not too long ago about how, like, life is this massive mural, right? And sometimes our focus goes from expanded to contract, you know, just, like, very small, right? Um, I personally believe 
that when a person is used to unhealthy relationships because that's how it, they were raised, right? They really only see that little small portion of everything, right? You know, um, they believe that, oh, they're just being the way that they are. That's just the way that they are. You know, I, um, I take it because I know that they care about me. I know that they love me. Just consistent invalidation of your internal state, um, which leads you to more, I'm going to call it spiritual blindness. You're blinding yourself from the way that you actually feel about everything, and you're just allowing the further reinforcement of everything that is in your environment that does not change because you don't see it for what it is because you really can't because all of your beliefs numb you the hell out to everything that's right in front of you right that's just that's just the way that it is you could see it differently but you don't because of all of the consistent reinforcement that just continues to numb you out from everything that's right in front of you and that's just the way that it works